Hello everyone, welcome to Mr. Ben Show, and welcome to another episode of Home Buddy. I had the game paused, and the power already went out, so here we'll clap it over, and uh, let's get inside this room before fucking dude walks out. Oh, Francine's in here again in the corner, doing something. I even see her. Francine, what the fuck are you doing, dude? I'll have to see. Anyways, the guide said we gotta do that synthesizer puzzle thing that we were fucking with. Um, that had the alarm. In the last episode, I was right on track with that, where the three notches, right, were the for the synthesizer thing. Um... So I have that beside me, and yeah, now I just gotta wait for the killer to open the door. 10.45, please. There we go. There's the save. And here's Johnny. Wait for him to get out of the room. Okay. Should be good now. Okay. Memory log. Where's the notches? I thought we had a picture of those notches. Do we not? Fuck, dude. I thought so. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay. Third, bottom, second. This needs to go up. Third, bottom, second and then we need the colors to match up as well oh no I guess that wasn't it. Read schedule. Rise, cold shower. End of the watch. Rise again. Re energize. Hot shower. Uh, Pranuyama. Sazen. Ruminating upon cones, mostly regarding beaten with a stick. TM, focus on intake and release of energy. Accumulator cleaning and upkeep. Center my internal focus of control. Banish external negative energy. Lunch, post lunch walk, ideation, accumulator, observation, observation and meditation. Automatic drawing, exploratory stream of consciousness writing. Nightcap, old fashioned, some grass perhaps. Preparation for liminal dreaming, placing of bedstand journal for later transcription during the watch, an adaptation of Dolly's famous The Slumber with a King of Technique on which the I've iterated involving repeated periods of wakefulness, a gentle flirtation with the beginning of stages of REM. Okay, I, I, I see now that time is not moving when we are reading, so that is good to know. Uh, there was once a natural medieval habit of second sleep and a period of wakefulness referred to as the watch between the first sleep and second. This was very 
This was used as the most productive time of the day in which a family accomplished most of their tasks. I adopted this practice for myself and find similar generative results. Okay, man. So is this fucked up? Like, what is happening? that do it? It saved. It did something. I think that's because the dude heard me. No, we definitely solved it. I can't do anything with it anymore. Fuck. He's on his way in here. Hide. Please. Okay. So according to this, that opened downstairs. Not, it doesn't open this one. So, good to know. I don't know how many of these stays were in there. But we are just gonna keep walking away. Fuck. Shut up, shut up, shut up. I just need to go to the kitchen until he goes back upstairs. Open the fucking door! Jesus Christ, game. Okay. <sighs> New hiding spot. Wait it out. And then... We should be good. Sounds close by. That squeak is new. It's not a squeak. Is that somebody like writhing in pain? Somebody still alive? Prancing? <laughs> Shit. What the fuck is that noise, dude? Is that me? Am I making that squeaking? Is he even coming in the kitchen? Oh, now he sounds really close. Yeah, there he is. Okay, we're good. Stay in here. Stay calm. Oh, it got real quiet. Why is it quiet? I guess we will leave. Alright, we need to go out this way. And downstairs. And I have a feeling he might be done. Oh, it said it opened the locker. Right, 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 right. Fuck. Okay. Check locker. An old print out reads stay with black diamonds in between the letters. Why would anyone go through the trouble of locking this away? Okay. Well, that's in our memory logs. What the fuck had black diamonds? I don't remember. I don't remember anything with that. Is he even? No, this is just a number. 
pad thing. This is the wood. Why can we look at that? Oh, no, it was for this. I don't know what it could be for, man. What the fuck? Megan, she's dead. There's a lot of blood. Okay. Look at the window. The baby. I wonder if we look out the window when the lightning hits, if something will be there. Let me check Cliff out. Nope. He's glitched into the wall. Now let's look at this. Pete's been like fucking freaking out about this. The locking mechanism doesn't have power. Yellow cable leads out into the power box in the living room. We've got to get out of here. What if that thing shows up again? Front door might be the only way out of here. I'll have to figure out this lock. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's fine. You can kill me, actually. Oh, it's 316. Stone cold. <laughs> Shouts out, Johnny. Oh, okay. What? My bad. I was trying to read in the guide. What's up, Emily? The box in the living room is the last thing in your way before you get to the front door open. You gotta use the power box and the cellar to get it open first, so... Take care of yourself if you can. Okay. So we'll find... We need to go to the power box. In the living room. And figure out what's this. So what's this? What do we gotta do with this? Power box isn't powered on. There's a yellow and black strip cable coming into the bottom of the box from the floor. Yellow cable leads from the left of the, into the foyer, a two right side, into the ceiling. Right. One of the ceiling goes to a device up there. The yellow one, on the other hand, goes down... Where? Oh, to the lock. Duh. Um... Get downstairs. What the fuck do we do? Proceed... To the cellar and inspect the locker. No, the antechamber in the main bedroom is the only place of only to explore after the killer arrives. Now you have all the clues you need from it, thus you should feel free to follow the next several steps in the safer opening loops of each hour. Cellar, enter the combination from the cellar, head in the cellar, open the panel on the wall by using the minesweeper grid thing. Yes, we did that. Right. We did that before. Right. Check machine. Come on, game. Um my sweeper puzzle. Do do do. What is this? Hunter out the main quest. 
cool. Okay. And now we got this open. Flick this shit on. Which should open the main power box now? Is that what the game is the thing is saying? I, I'm kind of going off pictures. I'm trying not to read. <laughs> okay, what the fuck is happening here? Okay. Touch all the buttons. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but it feels like I am. No, no. This one. Get these two to change. Fuck, dude. I don't know. Am I doing this right? I think so. Okay. Okay. Do these need to change? And then now these two need to change. Fucking shit, dude. I'm gonna have to look, interact with the box. So keep notion simple, assume the top left, interact with the buttons. Amazon 2, etc., etc., um, down at L5. Alright, I just need to reset it. L5. L4. L3. L3. R3. And L1. Okay. Definitely fucked it up. If I'm doing anything, I'm just trying to go off a picture. 
Now I'm just trying to match it up to the picture. Swaps, maybe. And then these swap, and then these swap, and then these swap. We just need to die. Gary's already dead. I'm just fucking go to Gary. Francine, you dead now? Yeah. Okay. Bring me back to life. Wake me up. Oh shit. Cliff sure was giving you a hard time last night, huh? You mean when he was ribbing me about burning to death? I think he was helping. Tough love. So is this last year or something? Or the last time we had a meteor shower? Is that was a flashback? Could I at least apologize? Pretty sure he was waiting for me to thank him. Anyway, thanks for sticking up for me. I really appreciate it. Of course. You would have done the same thing for me. Remember the time we were trapped in Brookridge Mall waiting for the storm? Oh god, this story. Oh uh, yeah, it was maybe about torrential rain. The parking lot was shaped like a bowl with the mall at the center and the sewers clogged, the whole thing flooded. They wheeled in a generator to keep the lights on while they waited for the city to bring in a pump to drain all the water. It took so long we ended up having to stay the night. I remember trying to sleep with the sound of the generator as if the worry wasn't already keeping me awake. Yeah, for a while it seemed really stressed. You, sh you were sure the dome would break and the water would pour in. Like it would end the world or something. You weren't scared? I didn't love it, but I, I, I like getting closed off like that. Always nice to have few, fewer variables, you know, being able to focus on one big scary unknown kind of distracts from all the other little unknowns. I try to think about it like one of those CD-ROM puzzle games we used to play. That's really smart. I almost let all the worry get to me, but you were so cheerful, so brave, that I ended up kind of having a good time. Even though, you know, we could have drowned. Oh shit. Emily, are you okay? Yeah, I... I'm just wondering... Oh, fuck my babe. I'm just wondering what would have happened if it kept flooding if the city hadn't been able to stop it. Like, could we have done anything about it or we would just be out of luck? Why are you suddenly so worried about something that already happened? Sure, things were f went fine that night, but what about next time? You mean, next time we're trapped in a flooding mall? Yeah, right. <laughs> Next time. I'm not floating wall. Am I just watching her? Okay. I couldn't control that. I just had to watch her walk into the night. And there's the moon again. We need to remember to look out the window. For the lightning strike. Which happens at... 9.30 something? First things first, we needed to get the door unlocked. So we got to open this to seven eight. Go downstairs, open the other panel thing. Check my 
machine. Boop, boop, boop. Power thing, turn on, cool beans. Okay, now we're in business. Um, so first things first, we need to... Puzzle and salvage and do one thing. I ran, get a cave, blue note on the side of the circuit. The puzzle box can be pretty tricky. It takes some foresight to solve. One and below is L2, then L5. So first we need L5, L4. Now those are not linked. Now we need R3. R1 and L1. Okay, cool beans. That takes care of that. Now we can get the fuck out. Open the door. Fuck this place. What is going to happen now? <laughs> oh shit. Ew, it's like a meat ocean. Okay. I mean, I kind of expected it would be like some weird Zathura shit, but I was not expecting a meat ocean and then dude to come stab me. I escaped the house. Hello, Emily. Is it Emily, right? Do you know who I am? Yeah, you're the that old guy I'm at the gas station. At least, I think there was a gas station. My name is Parker Nest. Oh. Is he the killer? I guess he kind of looks like the killer, right? Is th that what the killer's wearing? Do you feel strange spending so much time in my home? Your home? We're not really in a mountain retreat in Pennsylvania. The place, that place isn't your home. Is not Rome still Rome? Are these really the last days of the Roman Empire? Ugh, please, make sense. Tell me what... When that creature, the homun homunculus, when it attacks you, do you feel it? Do you feel anything when you die? What is this thing? Uh, I imagine you must blame me for what's happening to you. Frankly, I do too. Find to whom this cruel world appears, and you will know why it appears so cruel. In the attic, you'll find a device I've built. Something Burroughs told me about some time before he pissed, he pissed off to Tangier, 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 called an accumulator, supposed to aid in cellular reassembly. I built it believing it would extend my halcyon days. Of course, I was in my 50s. I should have known that time was already behind me. Still, I hope it would help regain some of the feeling I once had. Naturally, it didn't. <coughs> uh-huh. Instead, over time, it made the house, it made you, it made that thing, the homunculus, and it made a liar out of me. What? The only comfort that brings me regarding the predicament I seem to have gotten you into is that it keeps creating and recreating you, but it won't last forever. In fact, I suspect the mere fact that we're having this conversation now is a sign that both of us are in some kind of hot water. Hot nut water? The, the 
accumulator is the maker of the world in which we live. It alone changes it or unmake it. Unmakes it. It's the red door. Let's just go to the attic. So. Okay. So let's get power back to the box. And now we can go do the upstairs thing. Is what the guide says. Which is right. So, circle keypad. Two, seven, eight. Bam. Now we gotta do this fast. Because there's a lot of steps to do this. Doop, 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 doop. Go down. Minesweeper puzzle. Fucking shit, dude. Boop, boop, boop. Turn on the power bank. Got it. Okay, and then I gotta look back at the guide to do the thing. Check machine. Boop. Now we need... Our... What's the top again? I want the right side. R5. Four. Three. Three. Two. A one. Fuck. Fucked it, dude. Damn it. Damn it. I wasted it. I wasted it. Fuck. Is there like a re scramble button? <laughs> we just need the minuses to link and the pluses to link, so. Is relinked or minus is relinked. No, not anymore. What if I do that? I fucked it up from the beginning.
do it in time. Fuck. Okay, fine. Talk to Gary. Gary, Emily, what is going on around here? We're all going to die. No. <laughs> uh. Who designed it that way? I don't trust that at all. Seems pretty careless. So nothing from Pete. Nothing. Why do you ask? I hope he's still alive. Something about it just to feel right. It's not likely for him to go silent for days at a time. I guess that's true. He must have been having a crazy reeking. What's the plans for tonight? I don't know. I guess we need to figure out the power situation. Cliff has been in the kitchen for like an hour on dinner. He's probably pissed that the power's out. The lightning was intense. That was the type of noise that makes power people cartoonish hit their heads. We're luckily... Yep, 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 okay. Um, this place sucks. It's old and that's bad. The power outage thing, bad crap. Trouble's really following you tonight, huh? You know me. Uh, Cranston keeps going to this corner in here. So, like, what the fuck is that all about? Never checked that out. Why are you looking at Francine? Not in here yet. She keeps looking out the window. Why do you keep looking out the window? Uh, you good, dude? Francine? Emily? I don't think we're ever gonna see Pete again. Actually, how do you guys even hear from him? It isn't there, like, no signal out here? Oh, yeah, last time we had a signal was out in the mountain town, not far from here. We stopped in on the way to eat and sponge up the final few drops of cell reception. I bet that town was pretty charming. Uh, not really. I feel like 10 years ago it was a good slice of Americana, but it's gotten really moldy since then. <laughs> no word from pizza. Wait, why are you talking about this? I don't remember you being this paranoid, Emily. I guess you don't remember, but I do. Something's coming for us. I guess it's kind of silly. I'm just trying to keep a lid on it, given the circumstances. Um... I just think there's no benefit in acting on that feeling of unsafety, Emily. I'm sorry. I don't know how to make it stop. <laughs> you know, to apologize, Emily. We're here for you. I hate this place. We need to get out of here. We need to get the power back on. If we can't, well, I suppose we can still enjoy the pure sides of the dark, right? Cliff was working on dinner in the kitchen by now. I suppose that won't be happening for a while. This place sucks. It's an amazing place, but it's really worrying that the power's out. I don't think we're ever going to see Pete again. I'm just talking in circles now. Okay. Why is the bathroom door closed now? Fucked up her shit, so I can't like do anything with that. Are you good, Megan? Anything new with you? This place sucks. 
It's really scary, yeah, it feels like the seventh guest in here. Name drop. Remember when we bought an old copy of the game at Goodwill? Another name drop. Um, the box was one like someone had across the room. We made a choice between it and a particularly haunted doll. The install installation felt like we were slowly opening. Box. The box. Uh, yeah, it looked like somebody had a pretty bad time with it. And I mean, the game wasn't what I remembered it being. Definitely not the carnival of terror we remembered from our childhoods now. But I still remember the sting of how scary it had been. And that was enough to make me uneasy. A little sl too slow paced for me though. That was more like the type of game Steve and Francine used to play. I don't think we're ever going to see Pete again. I don't know. None of us do. It's so strange. I hate this place. Uh, I don't know that the power's... I don't know that the power's out. Getting the power back on. Otherwise... Sitting here in the dark? What? Why did those questions... What was that wording? Cliff has been in the kitchen for like an hour working on dinner. It's really scary. Oh, jeez. Okay. Anything new, Cliff? Cliff? What's up? So, Cliff, have you seen the power box in the living room? Weird wall enclosure, a box that controls. Usually that'd be done with simple switches, but instead of wiring distribution, it offloaded the components inside the enclosure, which lets you choose where to send the juice. It looks like the power flows up from the positive and negative terminals on the bottom to otherwise. Yes. That's how it works. Minus to minus and plus to plus. As long as the plus and minus don't directly connect to each other, you're good. The thing is so weird, it looks like from a toy. So I can't swear. I made it ridiculous. How old do you think? Uh, not ancient, but old for sure. Francine said the guy owns the place stopped living here in the 80s. It probably was installed around then. So everybody else is just ignoring the escape room puzzle in the living room. Maybe they don't know how abnormal it is. Whoever built that thing is just going to keep something around. If somebody's that worried, they probably shouldn't be renting out their house to strangers, and we should probably be sleeping outside. Also, FYI, that this thing isn't going to work at all if this doesn't have power. I would probably be controlled from the main circuit breaker. Um... The fuck was that? Is that the neighbor's car? Is this all about just a guess? Are we on time? No. We're gonna die here soon. I don't know. I feel like I've seen one like it before somehow. It's kind of weird. Left deja vu feeling. So the front door needs power to open it. Could you explain how the living room box one more time? Talk to you later. Okay. And we're gonna go die now. He's going in the living room. Killer should be walking down the stairs as oh no, that talking to our friends stops time. Good to know. Fucking shit, camera. Okay, Gary, let's go to our death. Actually, let's talk real quick. Gary, Emily. My skin was crawling with all that was going on in this house. I'm scared, but this is okay. We're going to be okay. Gary, hey. Emily, I saw something in the house, something that looked human. It had a knife. Emily, it's coming for us. I fucking think she's killing us over and over again. <laughs> we can do this, Emily, I think. I hope. If we keep talking, though, it stops time. Yes, you can't continue the other one. 
Okay, here he is. I die first. <laughs> All because I fucked up the box. What's in the box? Right, we saw what was outside, though. Nothing. <laughs> Our death. So at the at that point, I looked at Gary and say, that makes two of us. And Gary clearly wants to back down, but I don't want to back down. And we started that, we stared that guy down until he backed off. You intimidated him? Nah, he never wanted to fight. Turned out he was just joking. Huh? So what happened at the roundhouse, huh? Yep. Huh. I haven't been to the roundhouse since we were all together for the first time we watched the Parasites? 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 I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. That must have been, what, like three years ago? Yep. Glad you had the occasion to grace us with your presence again. Well, my grandma died very conveniently. You wouldn't have come otherwise? And I thought Pete was the flaky one. I'm really anxious. If my grandma was still alive, I probably wouldn't be here. That's lie. I've been busy. So relax. We're supposed to be having fun here. We'll drink out of dirty glasses and watch some falling space garbage, and it'll be great. But isn't the bar just outside of town? Where are we going? We're going to the site I've been where I've been working. Why? Why are you telling me this now? We're going to get to the bar way after everybody else. I told the others a late start time. I wanted to make sure I didn't have to pick up my last check alone. Your last check? Last time we you talked, you seemed crazy about that job. Last time we talked, like, 14 months ago. My mom owed me some money. It's fine. Okay. Wait, didn't we just pass the Riverside exit? Is, isn't that where you said the site was? Do you know what day it is, Emily? August 13th? Friday. Friday the 13th. So, uh, you're superstitious now? Wait. Are you afraid to go back there? Is that why you quit? Nobody sticks around those types of jobs long. You either work a decade, tear, tear your body up, or you quit before you're in too deep. Uh-huh. <laughs> Buddy of mine, Martin, kind of older guy, wife and two kids, he's spotting another guy, Brian, as he's in bringing a dump truck full of gravel, laying a foundation. The truck hits a bundle of rhubar rebar, the scaffold collapses, Martin falls into the pit, the truck tips behind him just enough to dump all the gravel on top of him. He's chest deep in gravel now, but his arms are free, he's responsive, feeling okay, miracle. But it turns out, I mean, that's 18 tons of gravel in there with him. Right? All that weight, it puts all the oxygen in his blood into his brain, and below the waist, he cr he's crushed. He's just one big bruise. When they'll pull him out of there, all the blood go is go gonna go racing to his legs. He's just gonna go into shock and his brain's gonna die. So this is it. They bring in his family, explain the situation. They hug him they and say goodbye, and they watch him out, he and he's gone. <laughs> okay, man. <laughs> Isn't that what happens in signs? Name drop? Signs? The M. Night Shyamalan movie? Signs? The guy's wife gets hit by a truck and he goes to say goodbye to her? It happened. It happened to somebody I know, Emily. And it's gonna happen to me. Either I live hard and die young like Martin or I become a lumpy old asshole like my dad. Eyes on the road. <laughs> Shit. You don't deserve this. Fuck. I've seen you die so many times. Sorry, Cliff. Don't punch now. I'm sorry, too. Wait, where are we? How long have we been driving for? And shit. Whoa, shit. And are we back at the house now? 
maybe. Cool. Cool. All right. And pause it. Oh, what is this question mark? Oh, it's the the one panel. Okay. Front door. So our next mission for the next episode will be seeing what's upstairs through the red door. Cool. Cool beans. Wow, we've seen what's outside. That's a no-go. Gotta find another way out. Till then, it's been fun. It's been real. Peace out, Cubs, Cubs. Bye.